Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Bryn, and today I'm just gonna show you guys another piece of my Bath and Body Works collection, and that is gonna be my wallflowers. So in the first part of my Bath and Body Works collection, I showed you guys my room sprays. So if you have not seen that video, go ahead and watch it and then come back and watch this one. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you guys all the wallflowers that I currently have in my collection. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe. What are you guys waiting for? Welcome to the family. I would love to have you. And without further ado, let's get into it. So I have way too many wallflowers. This might not be a lot to you guys but it's a lot to me in fact like I let me just show you <laughs> um I keep all my wallflowers in this little uh white barn um box I don't really know what it's called but and they are just like overflowing so I will get into it and show you guys all of these but not even in that box, I have all my winter wallflowers that I'm currently working on. So I will show you guys those first. Um, so I'm just gonna grab them and show you and give like a brief description. Otherwise we'd be here all day. So my first one I have here is hot cocoa and cream. And um, I'm not like that crazy about chocolate scents, but I don't know, I just had that one. Um, and then I have a white balsam and vanilla. I love this one. It's like a marshmallow mixed with balsam. Um, then I have winter and this is a, oh, it just says holiday favorites winter. Um, just classic. Love this one. It's kind of like a, um, a clove mixed with orange, mixed with pine. It's like winter all in one. Um, then I have Fresh Balsam Increased Intensity. So this is just obviously a balsam scent. Hopefully this one is strong when I plug it in. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention before I show you guys all the rest of the scents. Um, I probably am not going to purchase the wallflowers in the future. I used to have like four or five plugged in at a time. And the reason why I'm, I'm slowing down on my wallflower usage right now, I just have one plugged in just one and they take about, um, a month or two to get through just one. So, um, I'm going to pretty much stop buying them. I mean, unless I run out, I'm just going to keep the one plugged in. And the reason I'm doing that, there's a couple reasons why I've decided to do that. One being, um, I don't think that, like, I get scent blind to these really quick. So maybe after, like, two weeks, um, I don't really smell them anymore. Um, number two is that I feel like the reason why I'm scent blind to them is because I'm burning so many candles and having so many competing scents that I don't really smell it. So that's why I wanna just have the one. And then my third reason is I don't really think they're very healthy for my cat. Um, he has had a couple of reactions in the past to them. Um, if you notice your cat sneezing or in my cat's case, he had really watery red eyes um, it's probably your wallflower because they can get sensitive to, I recently found this out. That's why I've like decided to calm down on the wallflower usage because, um, yes, pets can have reactions to them. Humans can have allergic reactions to them, but mainly, um, peppermint and, um, cinnamon are not good for cats. So, um, if you have a wallflower, consider not having those types of scents. But anyway, um, I'm not going to tell you to purchase these or not. That's just based on my experience. Um, and like, I'm not a doctor or a vet or anything. So please take my 
advice as a personal choice. Um, if you want to make decisions based on your pets or your family, um, I would ask a doctor or a vet because I am not one. So just putting that out there, um, I cannot give that kind of advice, but just based on my personal experience, that's why. Um, but I do still have a ton of them and I want to use them and I have a bunch of cute plugs, sadly, that I want to use, but, um, I've just made a personal choice to like not completely stop using them, but just kind of like lower my usage. Anyway, getting back into the scents. Um, the next one is Cozy Linen. And um, it's always nice to have like a fresh scent, you know, for a bathroom or whatever. Um, and then I have, again, I have Laundry Day. So another, this is definitely my favorite like fresh linen scent is Laundry Day for sure. Um, and then the last one I have is Tis the Season, which is just like an apple cinnamon scent. Um, now getting into the rest of these, um, they're just mixed in. I don't really have them by season, but we'll just get into it. Um, I have rainbow confetti, which is like a cereal scent. Um, and then I have, sorry, some of these are kind of dusty because they've been sitting on my, like, um, the counter. Iced lemon pound cake. Hopefully this is stronger than the candle because you couldn't really smell the candle. So I'm hoping that one's strong. Um, I have a backup of iced lemon pound cake. Um, and then I have pink Prosecco frosting. I love this scent. Um, it's just kind of like fruity, buttercream, blackberries, Prosecco. Um, and then I have a Waikiki Beach Coconut, you know, classic summer coconut scent. Wildberry Jam Donut. Again, I'm hoping this one's stronger than the candle because I couldn't really smell that one. Please forgive my nails. They are very chipped and ugly. I should have painted them before this video. But anyway, Wildberry Jam Donut. Love this scent. I just wish it was stronger. Um... Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. I This is the first time that they've had these in a wall plug. So I bought a lot of these. You guys will see these again. But I love this scent in the hand soap. It's like a vanilla ice cream mixed with caramel and that crunchy cone. It is so delicious. I wish they had this in a candle or body care would be amazing. Um, then we have Strawberry Daiquiri. I didn't find this one necessary to buy it in a candle so I got it in the wallflower plug wallflower plug <laughs> um strawberry simple syrup shot of tropical rum zesty citrus twist I mean it just didn't smell strong in the candle but we'll try it in the wallflower sea salt and lime I love this scent I almost like it more than um margarita uh, Island Margarita because um, this one's got lime in it instead of the mango. So love that scent and a hand soap at least. Um, strawberry pound cake, you know, like just the classic spring sweet strawberry pound cake scent. Love this in all forms. Um, red, white, and blue cake. This one was good in the candle, but it was pretty strong, but it was, it had like a weird scent to it so hopefully in the wallflower it smells more like the the berry cake um and then i have a backup of that one and then i have toasted pineapple marshmallow first of all this little packaging is so cute with the little like ukulele pineapple so cute um this one was good in the candle but again the candle was really weak um but it smelled good um, black cherry seltzer again. So a lot of these, if the candle doesn't smell very strong, I'll get it in the wallflower and hopefully I can smell it there, which you would think would be like counterproductive because the wallflowers don't really smell that strong. Um, I don't know what goes through my head, but I got black cherry seltzer because it smelled good, but not strong enough to get in the candle form. 
Um, pineapple Prosecco. This is a really good scent. Just, you know, pineapple sweet scent. Um, and then I have, I think, three more of the Boardwalk Vanilla Cone. <laughs> Again, I got a ton of these because I didn't know if they were going to bring them back out. And I love that scent. Um, and then I have a couple of the Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla and Paris Cafe. I don't know. These were 75% off, so I just could not pass them up. Um, oh, I have a third Cinnamon Spiced Vanilla and Paris Cafe. Um, and they never put out Paris Cafe in a wall plug. So I, I wanted to stock up on that one because I really love coffee scents lately. So I hope they bring out Paris Cafe in a wallflower plug. Unless I just have never seen it, but... Anyway, um, pumpkin pecan waffles. This one is super strong and amazing in the wallflower. Love that one. Um, pumpkin clove. This is a good spicy pumpkin-y scent. Um, and then I got, I have the last one in the singles is flannel. I love this scent. Just smells like a sexy man cologne. And then I have two of these like double ones. I have um, warm apple pie, which let me tell you, this one, you can only get it in the, in the doubles, like it's an online exclusive, but this one is so strong in the wallflower. This is the only one that I would recommend um, over the candle because the candle is always like super low throwing. But the wallflower is so strong and delicious and it just makes you want to eat apple pie. So highly recommend this scent. This is probably actually the strongest wallflower that I've ever had. So highly recommend this one. Another amazing one is Marshmallow Fireside. This one I can actually totally smell when it's plugged in the wallflower. These ones are probably the strongest wallflowers that I've ever had. So I highly, highly recommend these ones. All right, you guys, that is it for my current wallflower collection. I don't know if I'm going to purchase any more of these, at least not for a long time, because these will probably last me like forever. So unless I find ones that are really rare or ones that I absolutely have to have, I probably will not be purchasing any more wallflowers. Um, that's just how I feel right now. But in the future, you know, you never know. So Especially when I get a house, you guys know I probably will like put some like, I just have a tiny little apartment. So I feel like if I have too many scents going on, it's, they're going to end up like competing over each other and clash and like, I won't smell anything. So, um, I'm really trying to calm down on my candle burning as well. I'm really trying to slow down and not burn them all at once. It just like a couple or one at a time so I can really smell them and enjoy them. Um, so I recommend you guys do the same. Like, I know we want to get through our products and, but we're really like, you're kind of just wasting it that way. Um, and not really enjoying them. So that was my wallflower collection and my hair is acting crazy. You guys, anyway, um, if you guys enjoyed these little collection videos and you want to see more of them, don't forget to like this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.